Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, Crow VC, it's probably one of the best examples of this new generation of business that really understand power and wants to harness the power of the internet. Because it's a tool that aims to democratize, uh, you know, venture capital or you know, funding in startups, and wants to take it away from the monopoly that the big VC companies have, and allow the ordinary mom and dad investors to participate. Oh, absolutely everything. I mean, we are, you know, an internet company, a crowdsourcing company. And we do believe in the power of the internet and, and you know and the masses and what's better than you know uh, social networks, uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter and all those things. So we obviously do that heavily. You know, we uh, grow VC and also all the people on the board uh, and related in working with Grow VC. We also use. Uh, our Facebook pages and Twitter to you know, promote and talk about. I've seen great examples and uh, companies that seem to still be oblivion to you know social networks. Um, I noticed in the beginning. I mean, we have you know like the huge multinational companies that you know like like uh, Unilever etc. That are obviously doing a good job. What caught my attention was some women fashion, um, you know, very local brands, uh, like Sao Paulo brands, that are really using blogging and Facebook and, you know, Twitter to uh, reach their customers and really establish, trying to establish a relationship. And I've seen some really good things from a couple of those. Uh, in the, let's say, general retail, like, um, well, a a as Australian, I was going to mention something like uh, Harvey Norman, Bingley, I don't know how those companies are well known in UK or in America. In America, you have Best Buy, which is a terrific example. A and those companies, the equivalent to those companies in Brazil, I haven't seen many of them uh, to get it right here. A couple of them are trying, no, are, are really, and some of them are totally ignoring. Uh, actually, uh, one of the main business magazines in, in Brazil called Exame, uh, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was last issue or two issues ago. They, you know, was on the cover uh, about one of those major retailers in Brazil and that they were probably the worst customer service uh, you could have. In Rio de Janeiro, they were forbidden of, you know, doing any more sales until they get the delivery organized. And with those companies, uh, I also had a bad experience in the first thing I went for, you know, I, I obviously tried the, the customer service, didn't work, and I went to the social media and didn't work. I mean, I got, you know, some peers uh, sympathizing with me, but not nothing. Uh, uh, it's starting, uh, I, I think the last six months, uh, I've seen this changing. A lot more companies are, you know, getting on the internet and, and getting their site done mm. although some of them don't seem to understand uh, because they have the site and they start some of them start doing e-commerce but then they have the last mile problems they have you know customer care problems because they weren't ready mm. they really didn't you know understand the medium and what's necessary and what's involved Mm -hmm. that it's all about relationship and if you're not prepared to have a relationship to establish a dialogue with your customer it's better for you to stay out and just go in when you're ready otherwise you're going to be in more trouble than you were well uh, some things were although we have over 200 million handsets in Brazil 
uh, and uh, 80 percent th th that's what's really unique to this market is 80 percent are prepaid mm -hmm. so in the beginning there was a problem for you know uh, mobile payments or even mobile marketing however uh, companies are realizing that and they're starting to develop products like they developing prepaid data packages uh, so they are really trying to, to get uh, the customers on board what we have in Brazil also that is really in, you know um, levering that uh, is the um, growth or the, the um, or the rise of a medium class because before in Brazil we had only the very rich and the very poor now we have a strong ready to consume dying to consume middle class what we call here CD class mm -hmm. and they are those who have the prepaid phones but you know a lot of them are have smartphones the, the market share of smartphone in Brazil are growing and they are you know creating unique products aimed to that share of the market so I, I think we're going to see a lot of in, innovative things uh, on the upcoming months 